Today we're doing a border run from Nicaragua to Costa Rica and back to Nicaragua at the Penis Blancas border crossing. You'll find this video helpful if you too need to do a border run to renew your tourist visa, or if you're just traveling from Nicaragua to Costa Rica. If you're traveling or living in Nicaragua and are a non-Nicaraguan resident, you'll need to renew your tourist visa every 90 days. The easiest way to do that is to do a border run into Costa Rica from Penas Blancas. The Penas Blancas border is only about 45 minutes from the town of San Juan del Sur, which is where our home is. Typically, you'll do the border run on foot. It's only a couple of hundred meters between the Nicaragua and Costa Rican border. As you approach the border, you'll begin to see trucks lined up and you'll see aggressive fixers trying to help you navigate the border crossing. Don't stop here. Keep driving until you reach the small blue building just in front of the main border terminal. You'll stop at this blue building and see the agent in the blue shirt. This is the DGA officer and they're going to check your passport and hand you your customs form. Today we'll show you the border crossing steps, whether you're doing it on foot or whether you're traveling with a vehicle. And by with a vehicle, I mean a foreign plated vehicle. So we drove our SUV from Canada all the way to Nicaragua. So our vehicle needs to exit Nicaragua every 30 days. So for us, the border run will satisfy our 90 day tourist visa, but also our vehicle leaving the country. If you're traveling on foot, ideally come with no luggage. That makes it super easy. You're gonna go into the main terminal, get your exit stamp, pay your fees, and be on your way to Costa Rica. If you're driving a vehicle, next you'll see the DGA officer and the police in the parking lot, and then head over to the tip office to cancel your tip. At the Nicaragua border, they only accept American dollars for fees, so make sure you're prepared because they do not have an ATM. If you're traveling with a vehicle, just be prepared. There's a few extra steps and it will take you just a little bit longer to make your way into Costa Rica. Your foreign vehicle does need to leave every 30 days or you can go to the capital city in Managua and request an extension twice. You can do that at the end of the first 30 days and at the end of 60 days. So we've already done that. We're at 90 days. Now our vehicle does need to do a border run. Once you've received your exit stamp and canceled your tip if you're driving, head to Costa Rica, being sure to stop at the blue pavilion to hand the customs agent your customs form. If you're driving to Costa Rica, you're going to want to pull off into the right and go to fumigation. If you're on foot, continue straight ahead. You'll see the main building just ahead and to your right. Periodically, when you're entering Costa Rica, the agent will ask about your onward travel. Basically, they want to know when your plans are to leave. You're allowed to stay for 90 days and this should not be an issue, but sometimes they won't let you enter if you don't show when you're leaving. So an easy option is to buy a bus ticket to head back to Nicaragua and you can purchase them in the little huts across the street for only a couple of dollars. If you're driving your vehicle, it's easy. You just let them know you're driving and you can head back at any time. Once in Costa Rica, you'll get your entrance stamp. Then you'll proceed to pay your exit tax. There are three ways that you can pay your Costa Rica exit tax. You can pay in person across the street at a small little office. You can pay at the bank terminal, which is in the building beside the entrance stamp office, or you can scan the QR code and pay online at any time, either at the border or before you arrive. Note that if you're leaving Costa Rica by air, the fees are much higher, $29 total. Once you've paid your Costa Rican exit tax, you're going to go around to the opposite side of the building and get your exit stamp. 
If you're driving a vehicle, you don't need to get a new tip in Costa Rica because you're not actually driving in Costa Rica, you're only in the border zone. So get back in your car and make your way back to Nicaragua. Now you're ready to complete the loop and re-enter Nicaragua. If you're driving a vehicle, you're gonna go through fumigation first, which is just in the parking lot over to the right. Entering Nicaragua is very similar to exiting. It's just on the opposite side of the building, so it's kind of a mirror image. If you're traveling with your vehicle, make sure that you have multiple copies of your registration or your title, your driver's license, and your passport. Three of each is perfect. If you need to make copies, there's several places back on the street on the exit side of Nicaragua. If you're driving a vehicle, you may be required to have your vehicle scanned on entry or exit from Nicaragua. Here we'll take you through the process in case you do need to be scanned. The guy inspected the vehicle, told us we need to x-ray our vehicle. Uh, we have nothing in our vehicle except for us and just our safety equipment. We have our jack and our safety triangles and fire extinguisher, which is necessary for driving in Central America. Uh, Tove is off doing uh, what appears to be an x-ray. Uh, they told us to get an x-ray of the vehicle. We went to the x-ray spot where all the tractor trailers are and they said nope we need to go to another building so we're now at another building Tova's in waiting in line to go and talk to them so uh, we will see what's happening but so far this border runs going fairly well so it's about 30 degrees outside and Tova's standing in line she's currently third in line uh, in the shade so thank goodness there's shade uh, but it is 30 degrees outside and I'm sitting in the air conditioning, comfortable. Sorry about that, Tove, but uh, hanging out in the vehicle, the air conditioning, 19 degrees in here, but uh, keep it nice and cold in here for her to come back in. Update from the vehicle. Uh, while I was being scanned, Tove had to walk around the scanner. I pulled up, went through the scanner. Uh, I got out, sat, sat in the safety hut. They scanned the vehicle and then Scanner was done, got back to the vehicle. We're now getting some signatures, hopefully, uh, so we can just carry on to Costa Rica. Car insurance is required in Nicaragua. You can buy this from agents selling insurance at the little restaurant just across the street from the border offices. Get out of your vehicle, walk in with confidence like you own the place, and find an agent. Otherwise, there'll be multiple fixers trying to take you to their restaurant to their agent to buy insurance from them. Okay, so we just re-entered Nicaragua? Yep, yep. We left Nicaragua, went to Costa Rica. <coughs> We left Nicaragua, went to Costa Rica, and re-entered Nicaragua again. Uh, it took us how long? <coughs> well, I've got to cough for a sec. <coughs> <coughs> this is very typical. She coughs like every 10 minutes. No, I, I really We've live. edited all of it out before. <laughs> uh, it's uh, smoker's lung. She smokes like cigars like a pack a day. So, uh... Anyway, what were you saying? Uh, so we arrived at the Nicaragua border at 7.30 this morning and it's now 12.30, so that is... 7.30? Yep, yeah, That's five hours. hours. So it took us five hours um, to do the loop. So exit Nicaragua, enter Costa Rica, exit Costa Rica, 
enter Nicaragua. But I think we had a two hour delay or an hour and a half hour delay and a half. because hour and a half delay because of uh, their system was down in Costa Rica. We weren't allowed to exit. No one was allowed to exit Costa Rica to go to Nicaragua because the exit tax uh, terminal was broken. I like the bank. So we, so we, uh, we tried paying by cash and their system was down. So then they sent us to the bank. Uh, we're one of the few people who actually had a credit card there. So we got front of the line and we went there and that didn't work. So then they're like, well, you can do it online. <laughs> online was broken as well. Yeah, like so the whole software system. Everything was, was like... down. So whenever you'd open up the app, uh, it displayed on my screen like it was the, the matrix. It was just a whole bunch of, <laughs> it was all a bunch of squiggle lines and strange icons that I don't understand what they were. It just filled my screen full of it. So it was an error, a virus or whatever it was. And then finally, after a few times, I tried it again and it worked. Yeah. And just as I was like, oh, hey, I'm gonna go and pay online. The guy's like, oh, the terminal starts to work now too. And I'm like, oh, perfect. But Tobe's in the washroom again. Again, one time. She's in the washroom. <laughs> so I didn't have my passport or anything on me. So shame on me. And my credit card didn't have it on me. So shame on me for not keeping that stuff on me. But when I went to the bathroom, I also went to the car and grabbed the credit card because we only had American Express on us, which we weren't Wait, sure if it was going to work. Way to redeem yourself. Yeah. Try to throw <laughs> me under the bus. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so anyway, got through that, took an extra hour and a half, two hours, and then uh, just watching the cows behind me. <laughs> Makes me nervous all the time. Um, but yeah, we made it through, five hour border crossing. So we'll count that as a success. Yeah. Get home to the pups. Yeah, it was five hours and we, theoretically we probably could have done it in like three and a half if the Costa Rica banking payment system was working. So overall, pretty successful. Yeah, it was a good day. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's our border run. Yeah, heading back home. Our border run's complete and we're heading back home to San Juan del Sur. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next amazing adventure. We're actually in Costa Rica traveling and camping for the next six months. So stay tuned for loads of Costa Rican adventures.